Hey guys, in this video we're going to see what happens to subcritical and supercritical flows when there is a rise in elevation of the bed or bottom of the fluid. So if you're going to if you consider this scenario here, the upstream depth is going to be some variable y1, but for the downstream depth, we don't yet know if it's going to rise or drop. That is we don't know whether y2 plus delta z is greater than or less than y1. Your intuition may tell you that the water surface would rise so that y2 plus delta z was greater than y1, but we'll see that this is a true only some of the time. Let's say our upstream flow is characterized by having flow rate little q and depth y1. We'll first take a look at supercritical flow, which has fr greater than 1. If we take a look at the specific energy curve we've seen before and plot y1, for a supercritical flow, um, our Y1 will be on the bottom branch and have a specific energy value E1. Now let's look at Bernoulli's equation along the channel bed. So I'll draw in my streamline. Along the channel bed is 0.1 there, 0.2 there, corresponding to Y1 and Y2. Now this is a standard form we're used to of Bernoulli's equation. But remember, we found the Bernoulli equation in terms of specific energy, which simplified down to y2 is equal to E1 minus delta z. This lets us plot our next point to find y2. First, we need to find E2, which is delta z to the left of E1. So if we plot that, it'll be, say, here, where this difference is equal to delta z. Now as long as E2 is greater than EC, where EC is this point here, and that's why C here, as long as E2 is greater than that, and since we're still considering a supercritical flow, lower branch, supercritical lower, lower branch flow, sorry, Y2 will be larger than Y1. Y2 is going to be a point above y1, so in the middle there. So that's y2. Now if we go back to the diagram and knowing that y2 is always greater than y1, uh, then we know that uh, since the y2 is the height above the raised bed, so the raised bed has a delta z which is positive, uh, then the overall height of the water surface with respect to the initial uh, bed is y2 plus delta z. And because y2 is already larger than y1, then y2 plus delta z is obviously larger than y1. So for a supercritical flow with positive delta z, we're going to get a rise in the um, water surface level, which is, is as you'd expect. Um, but if we take a look at subcritical flows, things are different. Again, looking at the specific energy curve for sub